Today we are going to discuss extracellular digestion. The two words extra cellular. Extra means outside. Cellular means the cell. Means this digestion will occur outside the cell. In the body but outside the cell. That will occur outside the cell in the body cavity. In the particular organ but outside the cell so this digestion will occur outside the cell in the body cavity in the particular organ but outside the cell for example we are having the example of plain area Talking about human, human also have extracellular digestion and etc. We'll be discussing the digestion in planaria, digestion in human. Okay, now if we talk about that, how we can know that which organism have intracellular digestion and which organism have extracellular digestion, that is a little bit confusion between that. That how can we identify? that which organism have intracellular digestion and which organism have extracellular digestion first of all talking about intracellular first that which organism have intracellular digestion first two phylum have intracellular digestion means intracellular digestion will occur in first two phylum First phylum is phylum protozoa. Second phylum is phylum porifera. These two phylums, the organisms in these two phylum will be having intracellular digestion. Means that is constant that intracellular digestion will occur in these two phylum. Here if we talk about phylum protozoa for example like amoeba. That will be having intracellular digestion. Phylum porifera, for example, like having sponges, like that will be having intracellular digestion. So these two phylum will be having intracellular digestion. Now, if we talk about both digestion, like intracellular digestion as well as extracellular digestion, both digestion. Both digestion after these two phylums, that is phylum porifera and phylum protozoa, the three next phylum like first phylum cnidaria, cnidaria that we also call it pollen trait. So, if we talk about phylum Nidaria, that we also known as a second phylum is phylum Tinofera. Tinofora, sorry. Phylum Tinofora, and third we are having phylum Plati Halminthus. These three phylum will be having both digestion. Both digestion intracellular and extracellular means these two intracellular and extracellular digestion will be occur both in phylum nidera, phylum tenophora, and phylum plati helminthes. And as we talk about intracellular, intracellular will be occur in phylum protozoa and phylum porifera. And now in intracellular and both digestion that will occur in phylum phylum nidera. Phylum Tinophora, Phylum Plati Helminthes. 
now if we talk about extracellular digestion extracellular digestion will be occur in remaining all the phylums like arthro we are having arthropoda chordata etc all these ex except these phylums these five phylums all the phylums will be having extracellular digestion we want to name these phylum like intracellular the organism that is having intracellular digestion that will be i2 it means two phylums will be having intracellular digestion now if you want to name these you can name these b3 b3 means having both digestions and having three phylums now extracellular digestion except all these will be having extracellular digestion basically extracellular digestion is also known as intercellular digestion if we say intercellular or extracellular both are same so extracellular digestion is also known as intercellular digestion